The webinar is called The Art of the Sun and the Moon. We're going to look at that idea of the sun and the moon themselves as like these sort of, sort of celestial bodies that affect us every day, how they affect us internally, like affect our inner landscapes. We're going to look at that through symbolism to represent things like feelings, emotions, spiritual states by various different means. How can you represent something beyond the visual? Symbolism does it through representation and abstraction, just uses things like colour, line, texture in order to display those sort of inner states. If you do a painting that's about the sun and you're using lots of reds, lots of yellows, that painting feels warm or it feels like the sun. If you're doing something with the moon, you want something a bit darker and a bit, bit cooler. So there's like an intuitive understanding inside humans of colour and how the colour affects us as individuals. And as an artist, you can use colour to affect change in an audience. There's a way that we can use acrylics in which we can start off with them very thin. We can incorporate glaze medium into the acrylics and then build up layers of different colour to produce a picture. So we can start off very loose and gradually tighten that picture up as the painting develops. We're going to learn about symbolism, we're going to learn about abstraction, and we're going to learn about surrealism. But as a practicing artist, I want to give you information and give you techniques and give you ideas that you can use and incorporate into your practice, into what you find interesting.